What's going on YouTube? Gabriel Say, aka The Truth, checking in, leg workout with commentary. Alright, so this leg workout is a bit of a throwback from a couple weeks ago. I didn't want to bombard you with loads of content and I put this one as a lower priority because I wanted to get the other stuff out. <clears throat> but what you see here is just warming up the knees with a close stance front squat to imitate the sissy squat as we don't have the machine. And then after this went on to Bulgarian split squats. But it was quite weird. Halfway through the first set, I started to feel like a pulling pain across the like around my stomach, groin area on the left side. And then as soon as I released the weight, it then became a burning sensation. So I was like, hmm, I have to ease off of that. So I thought, okay, well, let me try some more single leg stuff with the walking lunges. Same thing again. So I finished the set and just had to rethink, do I go home? Do I get a massage? Do I work around it? Y'all know me, I work around it. So tried to do the, went on to front squats and they felt comfortable. Um, so I just stepped it up to two plates. So um, 100 kilos, which is 220 pounds before then going on to we're well, moving up gradually to three plates, which is 315. And this was for like four sets of five. I felt quite comfortable. I did feel a little bit of a pull on the fourth set, but it wasn't as bad and it wasn't anything major. So I'm um, quite happy with how that went. But yeah, big news, big news, big news. Finally, he has put it up on his channel. Matt Does Fitness is officially sponsored by Machine Fitness along with Brian Turner of Humorous Fitness which means that the body power team is going to be strong. Hashtag Rise of the Machines because it's going to be epic. So if you're going to be about body power, everyone keeps asking me, are you going to be there? Yes, I am. And the team just got stronger. So make sure you come across and say hello. But also, it is literally eight days to the Arnold Classic. And it's funny, when I first started UK BFF, I was like, man, I would love to do the Arnold Classic. And now it's here. I'm not sure whether I'm nervous. I'm not sure whether I am, I don't know what I'm feeling right now, but I know that I'm on point physique wise. Scott's happy with my progression definitely bring in a physique that can you know go pound for pound with the the bigger American physique so yeah I'm going to be taking you on my journey through there anyway through access all areas and vlogs so stay tuned for that but now this exercise that you're seeing here um, you have to leave your ego at the door on it it's close foot and very low foot Hack squats. No pauses at the top or the bottom. It's just a constant pump. So this, you know, it's meant to be just 10 reps, just constant flow, but it is tough. It is tough. So to avoid putting too much stress on your knees by loading up the machine with what you would normally do with a higher foot position, leave your ego at the door and start with a slightly lighter weight but this one burns, it really does burn. But it's good. Man, look, look at the striations in my shoulder. Jeez. Damn, it looks good. But yeah, I digress again. So yeah, good exercise. I did, what, four sets of 10 on this one. Um, after this, moved on to Smith Machine Squats. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before you say anything, why are you doing squats on the Smith machine? Nothing to do with the injury. This is actually part of the program. And it is brutal. Scott is a devious one because I I thought the same thing at first until I tried it. It's two seconds down, two second pause, explode up, 
no pause at the top so no lockout so straight back down constant tension is a biatch it is tough you know i've got 225s either side i think i could have gone a bit heavier but that little pulling thing really messed up my head so i you know i wanted to play it not safe but smart and just make sure that i didn't make anything worse which is quite weird because i was gonna go and see a massage therapist but the following week it was fine i haven't had any problems i've been squatting front squatting leg pressing it's all good so it must have just been a little pull maybe a an out of place step or whatever but yeah it's all good now but definitely try these and let me know what you think because they're they're horrible then went on to this exercise which i actually thought the guy i was training with came up with and i wanted to pass the blame on to him but nope it was me five seconds down i think three second pause five seconds up for as many reps as possible again one of those stupid things that i say and then i have to honor it because i've said it but check this guy the guy in the orange shirt who focus on now if you remember the thousand pounds leg press video that's the dude same dude still doing his thousand pound eighth squat eighth leg press even but you know he's still hustling he's still in the gym every day he's still doing this putting the work in so can't knock it he's got the right work ethic he just needs to maybe take a bit of advice from people about form but I can't can't knock his work ethic whatsoever it's better than most people in there so yeah that was second to last exercise finished off with leg extensions focusing on the peak just to get the teardrop and the lateralis for the, for the um, quad sweep and that's it that was my leg workout throwback style and as you can tell by the music it was quite chilled but don't forget to subscribe for more footage. Don't forget to share, comment, like, and until next time, I'm Gabriel Say, and I am out of here. Peace.